French director Romain Gavras made his Venice Film Festival debut on Friday with Greek tragedy inspired drama Athena. Athena follows three brothers dealing with the death of their brother following an alleged police altercation. Kareem, played by newcomer Sami Selman, is on a hunt for revenge while Mokhtar Oasini Embark occupied himself with criminal dealings and soldier Abdul Delhi Bensala returned from the front line to try and keep the calm. The son of Greek filmmaker Costa Gavras and film producer Mitchell Ray Gavras, Romain Gavras has previously directed several music videos including for Kane West, Jemmy XX, and MIA. He co-wrote the screenplay for Athena, the Academy Award-nominated filmmaker Lejli. Lee joined Gavras and the cast on the red carpet, also walked by stars such as French actor Vincent Castle. Athena is one of the 23 films weighing for Venice's coveted Golden Line Award, the winner of which will be announced on September 10. The 79th edition of the International Venice Film Festival opened officially with the French actress Catherine Deneuve receiving a Lifetime Achievement Golden Line. On the opening day, a short video tribute to the 90th birthday of the event, which started in 1932, showed footage from previous editions of the film throughout the decades, right before host and actress Rocio Monius Morales introduced a short address by Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. Zelensky stressed on the reality of war, making an analogy with movies, saying that it's a drama based on real-life events, interpreted in real life by subhumans in flesh and blood, murderers, butchers, terrorists, a tragedy without the brilliant music by Morricone, but accompanied by the sounds of horrible Chestashka and by the sounds of explosions, shots, and alarms signaling air raids. The 11-day event draws together filmmakers from around the world, giving invaluable exposure to small, experimental production houses alongside some of the behemoths of the industry, including streaming giant Netflix. The 79th edition of the festival comes as traditional cinemas are struggling to bounce back from the COVID-19 pandemic, raising questions over their financial viability.